Good morning. We're here on Church Road in the centre of Haywards Heath and we're here to look at number 31 Petlands Lodge, which is one of the one bedroom first floor apartments in the lovely Petlands Lodge development um, that was only built in the last few years by Churchill Retirement. Um, just so you know where we are, we're directly opposite St Wilfrid's Church. The town centre, you've got Marks and Spencers, uh, literally is over behind the church here. So within 300 yards, you've got prime shopping. If I look down to my uh, west, at the bottom of Church Road, you've got the Broadway and Muster Green. So you've got a selection of restaurants, cafes and bars. Muster Green is actually uh, the venue of where uh, during the British Civil War, that's where the Cavaliers and the Roundheads had a battle. Um, and if I look uh, to my east, you're up to Hazelgrove Road, and literally just on the left-hand side, you've got a, uh, an alleyway on the left that goes through to um, Heath Road, and over that you're into Clare Park, which is the beautiful uh, old park, which is also the home of Haywards Heath Cricket Club. So here we are. Now, at Petlands Lodge, there is secure entry everywhere. Uh, Vanessa, who's the manager, has just kindly opened the doors for me. So do come in the building. Vanessa sits here. That's her office. Good morning, Vanessa. Morning. And here's the communal facility. So you've got a lovely big lounge. There's normally all every morning, uh, there's normally something going on here, coffee mornings and various events. So there are kitchen and, kitchen and refreshment facilities. There's generally something going on. I don't know if that screen's going to be flickering on the video, but if you look on there, it says activities this week. They've got a coffee morning, they've got a strawberry afternoon, and they've got recorder groups. There's always something going on. And whilst we're here, I'll just show you into the back gardens. So you've got the communal gardens here, loads of seating areas. So if you want to actually get lost, you can. And the flat I'm actually going to show you is actually this one here. Can you see the one in the middle of your screen with a door open? That's in the lounge. The window on the right of that is your kitchen and to the left is the bedroom. So that's got a lovely view down here over these gardens. There's a great big car park around the back. Uh, it's not allocated parking. I think residents get to get a permit, but beautiful facilities. It's like living in a hotel. Um, I've, I've made a separate video of the guest suite, um, which is quite a nice fa uh, facility. Um, so if you had friends coming to stay, you can actually uh, ask, ask to uh, use the guest suite. Now it costs £15 per night for a, um, so I just want to show you a quick thing. We've actually got a downstairs cloakroom down here. So if you were downstairs entertaining, you have got some facilities nearby. Um, so the guest suite is uh, available to rent for your friends and family. And it's £15 a night for um, uh, single occupancy or £20 a night for double. Um, just showing you, you've got lots of signage everywhere. But I'm going to take you up the lift. Now we're at what we are at ground level here. We're actually going up to first floor level, which actually in the building is actually a second floor flat. But from an entry level, it's only first floor because there's a lower ground floor. And on the lower ground floor, you've got an internal um, uh, room, which is for mobility scooters with charging points. There's the inside refuse bins. So you don't even have to go outside of here. We're gonna see 31, which is just here on the right. But before I do that, I was just gonna show you on this level, there is actually another sort of sitting area, which a lot of people uh, use this sort of facility. If you've got friends coming to pick you up, you've got a lounge. Oh, there you go, we've got some uh, residents living here now. But um, you've got this facility here, so if you wanted to wait for someone to come and uh, meet you, you can sit there and watch them, or go and sit downstairs in the living room. So come and have a look in the flat itself. So here we are, flat 31. Um, there's another staircase, so there's two staircases. There's one entrance to the staircase just up this hallway on the left. In fact, before I go into the flat, I'll just show you this. So that's the stair uh, doorway into the stairwell. But at the end of the hall, you get a better idea of the car park, which is out the back. There's lots of parking spaces, there's more space around the left, and a lovely view across uh, to the hills up at Arding lie there. Sorry these videos drag on, but I like to give you a really good idea of what you're talking about um, before you come and have a look. So here's flat 31. Now it's absolutely spotless. Uh, everything's electric, so you've got electric heaters. These wall panel heaters are, are electric. Spacious hallway. And let's go round in this order. So first things first, a really lovely living room. And again, all been redecorated. And this one's got a Juliet balcony. So as you can see this morning, it's a lovely all east facing. So it's a very cheerful flat, especially in the mornings. And we've got the Juliet balcony 
overlooking the gardens where I was a second ago. And look down, you've got a lower courtyard there. But a really nice room. You've got a feature electric fire in here. As you can see, you've got space for a small table and chairs, plenty of sofas. It's a nice big living room and then a beautiful kitchen. This is all fully equipped. So you've got an oven, hob, all the other appliances in here and a big window. Not all of these flats have a window in the kitchen. But if you've got to do the washing up, that's not a bad window to do it from. These are all new carpets in here as well. These have only just been fitted in the last week. And then next door, we've got the bedroom. So a big double bedroom. You've got mirrored wardrobes in here. As you can see, I mean, this takes two twin beds. It's a very spacious bedroom. They're just that bit bigger than average, these flats in Petlands Lodge. And most people tend to want to live in this block because of its location. It is right in the heart of the town centre. And here's the bathroom. So they put showers in for mobility purposes, but really nicely fitted. Got a big tower rail. And as you can see, fully tiled walls. All the walls are fully tiled. Little vanity, well, cabinet there with a vanity unit below. And behind us, great big uh, storage cupboard there as well. It's a really handy big cupboard with all your electric boiler as well in there. But there you go, that's number 31 Petlands Lodge. A um, couple of other things just to mention, obviously you've got Vanessa, she's the resident, uh, she's the manager in the building, she's not resident. Uh, you've got emergency pull cords, your, your service charge includes all that, uh, the emergency uh, facilities. So if you did uh, have any health issues and wanted to have either the pull cords or, a, or a, ban a bangle or a necklace, you have got that. But there you go, that's number 31. If you'd like to have a look, please call Mansell McTaggart in Hayward's Heath. Thanks for watching.